What is up, Wreckers? Rex and I back here, and I'm here with my thoughts on Wolverine versus Raiden. Yes, guys, this fight will happen on Death Battle, and I cannot wait for this fight. Two of my favorite characters of all time. <clears throat> so, yes, I'm looking forward to this fight and everything. So, I want to give you my thoughts on this fight and who I think will win. And I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest why I think a per the, the, this person will win, whatever. So, yes. So now let's get into Wolverine first. Now of course Wolverine, um, I believe, yeah, he's Canadian. He he um, grew up a lot with his brother Sabretooth, <clears throat> and ever since then, you know, they've been in a lot of wars together. Until eventually, I believe it was when, for some reason, they didn't like each other anymore, so they went their separate ways. And um, I believe, uh, hold on, oh yeah. And so then, of course, um, after being away from, what was his name? I know his name is Saber too, but what, I forgot his real name, though. But it, whatever. So, yeah, then eventually he was founded by the X-Men and was taken in. And, you know, like I said, I don't really get into them. I, I don't get, in, I don't go into too much detail with the background story, so. But as far as being um, how he is now. Oh, yeah, and, and of course, William Stryker was the one who gave him the adamantium. And then, of, of course, later on, he wanted to kill Stryker, but said Stryker shot him with some kind of gun that wiped out his memory. And with that, of course, he didn't know he didn't know uh, who he was or anything. So he was founded by the X Men. Now, as far as being the way he is now, he has a, a healing factor. I'm <clears throat> sorry. He has um, he's immortal. He has the adamantium claws. He has adamantium all over his body and everything. And as far as like what he has a what well, as far as what he has accomplished, Wolverine, I believe, yeah, um, he's a, he's he fought in the Canadian War. Um, I believe, I believe so, yeah. Uh, leave on the comment section if you did. I, I believe, I believe, yeah, he fought in the Canadian War. Um, he um, he's I believe, yeah, he's the leader of the X Men. Um, um, he was able. To, he, I mean, he he fought the Hulk. When he, when he, when, on his first appearance, I believe, yeah, he took on the Hulk. Um, he, he took down Deadpool alongside Sabretooth. And, yeah, I mean, Wolverine has accomplished a lot. I just don't know that much about him. Like, I know the character, but I'm not sure about his, about things that he's done or whatever, you know. I'm not that, I'm not too familiar with that stuff. So, yes. And is there anything else I missed? Um... I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed out, I missed out a lot of things, but I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not that, pop I mean, I do research these guys, but I'm not, I don't go into too much detail either, I just give out certain facts, but, um, yeah, so, that's all I know about Wolverine, now let's get on to Raiden, now I know, I know a lot more about Raiden, so of course Raiden, I don't, I'm not familiar, I'm not familiar with his background story that much, but I do know that before he became this robotic character, I guess you can say, he was first a normal a normal soldier like Snake, and of course when he saw Snake, Snake's identity was uh, his secret. Yeah, he hid, he hid his secret identity and he became Pliskin, I believe, and that's when Raiden and him ha uh, were in a group or a, or a partnership. Yeah, say that. Um, but and then eventually, I believe the story goes that his body was blown to bits, and that these people had to replace him with with uh, robotic parts. So that's why he looks like that, and that's why white blood comes out of him when he gets stabbed or whatever. But I mean, as far as his powers, or he doesn't really have any powers. I, I think actually, I think he has one. But as far as being the way he is now, um, he's a, he has superhuman speed, strength, agility. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to mention Wolverine has strength, and I believe he has speed too. And I believe Wolverine is also able to jump from a far distance. So yeah, I forgot to mention those those facts about Wolverine. But back to Raiden. Raiden is able to, yeah, uh, speed, strength, agility, he's super fast, you know, super, super quick. He's able to, like, he, and he has his sword, his iconic sword, that where he could, he could literally, like, swing it super fast, you know. Um, and also, uh, what else did I miss out? Oh, and also, of course, his armor protects him from dying, basically. I mean, he could... He could take a lot of punishment and can and can and can keep fighting. He did this to Vamp, you know. When when he fought Vamp, 
he didn't just fight them. He fought the, all the geckos, and he was he took so much punishment, but he was still able to fight. You know, and as far as what he has accomplished, he didn't really kill Vamp. He did defeat Vamp, but he didn't kill him. I believe Vamp killed himself. But yeah, he fought Vamp and, like I said, the Gecko at the same time. And, and if you played Metal Gear Rising, you know what else he's accomplished in that game. Um, but yeah, so, and spoiler spoiler alert, um, I'm going to mention what he's uh, done in Metal Gear Rising. So if you want to hear this part, then just skip. But he, he's defeated the likes of Monsoon, Sam, and that one main boss. I forgot his name, though. Um, and yeah, so, and he's taken down a lot of Metal Gear, I believe. So, yeah, he did. And yeah, and... I mean, yeah, he's proven what what a true soldier really is, or a true warrior is, you know. But what, while, um, oh yeah, and that's the thing, he always risked his life for Snake. But while that might be a good thing, and it might also be a bad thing, because, I mean, look at what he's done. He's, um, he stabbed himself to stab Vamp, you know, when, when Vamp had him, like, in a chokehold, he stabbed himself, and then the sword went through Vamp, you know, so... So yeah, he did that, and like I said, after that, he was still he was still able to move. He he suffered a lot of damage. Um, after after that fight, he did collapse, but he was still able to move a little bit. And also, um, he um, like uh, oh yeah, um, when Snake was about to get crushed by Liquid's boat, Raiden got in the way. He uh oh yeah, when Raiden got collapsed on a pile of rocks, his arm was stuck, so he just chopped it off. And also, with one arm, he was able to hold the ship back, and he stabbed his, he stabbed his own foot to the ground, so he, he would, I guess, stay in, stay in position, and he told Snake to get out of there, and he got crushed. He didn't die, but he got, he nearly got killed, you know? And Raiden, like I said, he's, he, does any, he does anything possible to, to achieve victory, and that's why, I, that's why I like him, you know? But like I said, but his weaknesses... Are that you know? While it may be a good thing, it's also a bad thing because it costs him his life, pretty much. Nearly costs him his life, because he's 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 take, yeah he's showing what a true warrior does or a true soldier does, but he's taking a lot of punishment and he could die, you know. Um, and like I said, uh, oh yeah, and he I believe um, I believe his sword obtained some kind of electricity. I'm not exactly positive. But he does carry other weapons, like when he killed Monsoon, he took his Psy. And the Psy is able to do something, like, I believe it's able to extend. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. He has, he has some kind of, he has like two swords, I believe. And he has one weapon that looks like a huge spear. I don't know, and he carries rocket launchers, uh, bazookas, you know. So Raiden is always prepared for any war or battle, you know. And... Um, like I said, I mean, he, like I said, he, he has shown what a true warrior is, you know. So now let's get to who I think will win. Now, this is going to be a, a very close fight, it, without question. But in the end, Wolverine's going to win, you know. But now, before you guys start raging, let me explain why. Look at the big difference. Yes, both these men can take a lot of punishment. But look at the big difference. Wolverine can heal... But Raiden can't. Like I said, he chopped off his own arm. He stabbed himself. Yeah, he, he, he does. He takes all this punishment. Yeah, he can take a lot of punishment. But, he, but he's not immortal. The, re the only reason why he's alive is because the armor that, he's, that he wears protects him from dying. And that's another thing. Um, he, he has this thing called, I believe, pain inhibitors, which allows him to not feel pain. Um, I, think he's, I think he does feel pain, but just not as much. Because when, when his pain inhibitors are turned off, then that's when he feels the pain but i mean look at the difference wolverine doesn't have a suit doesn't have armor he you know and he, he's able to regenerate but raiden is not able to regenerate i think raiden will have the advantage in terms of speed but i mean but i mean wolverine is immortal raiden is not immortal he's he could be invincible at times but he's not immortal you know so we'll see what happens you know so thank you guys so much for watching so i guarantee wolverine will win um, if, if Raiden wins, but if it makes sense why he won, then I'll be surprised, whatever. Uh, so let me know what, who you guys want to win, or let me know who you think is going to win. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, Resident 8, signing out.